Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today I'll show you a little hack on how to power up your 12 volt Wi-Fi security camera using your existing light fixtures junction box. And overall will be a clean, no wire showing, no plugging in type of install. This idea by the way was shared to me by R4Guard when he commented on the video about Ring's hardware kit for their spotlight cams. So thank you for the idea. Also disclaimer, I'm not an electrician. This is a DIY hack. Use your due diligence if you're going to do this and do so at your own risk. And I'm personally using this for long-term testing and use for my Tapo Color Pro. All right, so we are going to use an existing light fixture or junction box for this and make sure power is off before doing any work. And I'll be removing and replacing my Ring Spotlight Cam Pro and its hardware kit with this setup. And I mentioned this in my community post that after a year and one month of using the Ring Spotlight Cam Pro here in my backyard, and now the speaker grill, which is made of metal, is showing some rust. The plus version of this is all plastic, so this will only happen on the Ring Spotlight Cam Pro. Aside from this cosmetic issue, this camera has been reliable and dependable after a year of use. All right, for the stuff that we need, first we need the power supply transformer. And this one has an input of 100 to 265 volts AC and output of 12 volts DC, 1.25 amps. And this is IP67 water resistant. And this is small enough to fit in a junction box. But just to have more space in the wiring, we will also need a junction box extender. And this one is metal. And it comes with a foam gasket and two machine screws. Next, we will need a male barrel plug that we just need to screw in the wires some WAGO connectors, and we will also need a blank junction box cover with a 3 quarter inch knockout. Lastly, we will need our Wi-Fi camera, and I'll be using the Tapo Color Pro here in my main setup. Also, just note that this Color Pro is spec to be powered by 9 volts DC, but it should still work with 12 volts, and I've tested this before. This setup will work with other 12 volt powered Wi-Fi cameras like I'll show later on and how it looks with the Reolink CX410 Wi-Fi and it has the same 12 volt barrel port and it also work with the Eufy's E330 Professional and because of its longer wiring, you will really need the extended junction box for this or even Reolink's TrackMix Wi-Fi because it has the same 12 volt power supply. First, let's connect our barrel plug to the transformer. So the red wire goes to the plus or the positive terminal, then screw it in tight. Then the black one to the minus or negative terminal, and also screw it in to secure it. And to be safe, I'll just wrap the connection with an electrical tape. Next, let's knock out the hole on the junction box cover. Push in the wiring of the camera and mark the mounting holes. Then drill pilot holes for it. Push the camera's wiring again and now screw in the camera to the cover using three screws. As you can see in the back, these screws are protruding, so I'll be using my Dremel tool to cut off the excess. Not pretty, but should work. Shorter screws should also do the trick. Next, put the foam gasket, then the box extension onto your junction box. Then screw it in using the two included screws. Then we will connect the wiring using the WAGO connectors. It is AC, so either the white wires to neutral, then the other one to the black or hot wire. Now tuck these wires in and the transformer into the main box. Plug in the barrel plug to your camera and tuck in the wiring onto the box extension. Then screw in the camera using two machine screws. Now, I'm reusing the one here from my Ring's hardware kit. And position the camera to where you want it to monitor and that's it and just turn the power back on to the junction box. Now I'll demo here for a wall install. Just imagine that there is a junction box flushed on the wall. Plug in your Uficam E330 Professional and tuck all the wiring in and screw it into the box. See, a cleaner looking install. Same thing with the Reolink CX410W or even with the Reolink TrackMix Wi-Fi. You can screw in the mount to the box cover and now you will have a cleaner, no wire showing setup for it. And lastly, just to show and compare, this is the video quality of the Ring Spotlight Cam Pro in daytime. And this is the one from the Tapo Color Pro, which is definitely better. Now this is the one at night and just to be fair, the ring lens needs to be cleaned. And now with the Tapo Color Pro with same ambient lighting. Anyways, hopefully you find this video helpful and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.